I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but I do want to let you know that this guy, Christopher Key, who is now known for injecting urine for covid, he's been arrested. This is the guy who I previously told you was recommending people drink urine and then last week started recommending people inject urine. He has been arrested. Organizers tasked with putting on a Jacksonville, Florida conference headlined by covid truthers Robert Malone and Peter McCullough had enough of anti vaxxer Christopher Key's shenanigans. They reported the vaccine police leader to police as a trespasser, which sent him back to jail again, where he is now awaiting a preliminary hearing. Key could be heard on video berating an organizer of the far right gathering after he claimed that she mandated he move his car off a sideway. I guess, is that a sidewalk? Is that the same thing? Then he claimed he went to the building at the Take Action for Freedom tour to take a tinkle, and that led to police being called. He said he was being asked to leave. Um, an unidentified gathering organizer said to the officer that Key was causing a disturbance. You've caused a big disturbance. Key apparently still wouldn't leave after being given a trespass warning, and then he was indeed arrested. Now, what's fascinating is. He wasn't arrested for injecting urine. That apparently is legal as long as you do it to yourself, I guess. I mean, it's not a good idea. It's dangerous. If you hit it, if you hit a vein, uh, it can be very, very bad, but just trespassing. And again, what is fascinating to me about this stuff is I've said before, you look at flat earth, you put two flat earthers in a room together. They both agree the earth is flat, but for conflicting reasons, one will say, well, here's the proof that the earth is flat. And the other will say, no, that can't be true because here's my proof and it directly conflicts with it. These anti vax and uh, sort of like COVID alternative treatment people, they are often in conflict about why the vaccines are bad or about what you should do instead. And you've got a big group of people who talks about zinc and ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine, et cetera. They don't want anybody injecting urine. They agree the vaccines are bad, but they're like inject urine. No, that doesn't make any sense. Then you've got the drink and nebulize and inject urine people who are like zinc. No way in hell. Zinc's um, you put heavy metal poison. You know who the hell knows? Uh, they conflict with each other. These people are all bonkers. They're still holding conferences, but it's at least funny that Christopher Key ended up getting himself arrested. Maybe for attention, but I don't really know what the end game is if he's trying to get attention.